Hello and welcome back. My name is Richard and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your fine tuning module that came with your printer in order to mount your printer. All right, so when you opened your box and you took out your printer, you would have found this guy. It's kind of tucked in there right next to the printer. So I'm going to show you how this works. This is called a fine tuning module and so this will allow you to adjust the print head just millimeters at a time in order to get it exactly where you need. I'll show you how to do this. Great, so when you take the fine tuning module out of the box or out of its bag, it'll be like this. Inside here, you'll see a little baggie. Sorry, inside here, there's a couple screws in here. Let's go ahead and take those out and just set it to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this um, clamp right here. And it comes with the Allen keys you need. So just go ahead and remove these screws from the top. Great. Now just lift it off and set to the side for now. So when you get that removed, if you look down in here, you'll see that this thumb screw, the shaft travels all the way through here. So we're going to go ahead and remove that thumb screw. Great. And now this is where those two screws come into play. So if you look in here, you'll see we have two screw holes. And this is for mounting this piece to the printer. So let's go ahead, slide this stuff to the side here. Let's get our printer. And you'll notice you have two screw holes, sorry, two screw holes on the side of your printer and two screw holes on the bottom, just depending on how you want to set up. Now, one last thing, you'll also notice in the box this piece. This is just another mounting piece that you could use to mount here, depending on how you want to mount your printer. All right, so let's go ahead and take these screws out of the box or out of its, their bag. All right, now I'll just lay this bad boy on his side and line those screw holes up. Now we'll take one of our other Allen keys hand tight for now. And once you have both screws in, just go ahead and tighten them up nice and tight. Great. Now this is nice and tight and you'll see this moves now that it's on the printer. And this is that motion that's going to allow you to adjust your printer. Now this will also work as a spring loaded mechanism to push your printer back in case one of the products makes contact. You'll see you have about half an inch of motion here, however. So not a whole lot of motion, but enough to keep your printer from knocking off. So let's go ahead and put our thumb screw back in. Great. So now this is hand tight right now, um, and you still have that same range of motion. But you'll notice as I tighten this, it begins to move forward. And so what this will do is it'll allow you to back the printer off from something. So if you're, so maybe it's too close to something, you can back it off. And you'll see you have a little bit less motion here. We'll go ahead and do that a little more so you can get a full feel for it. And you'll see we have this distance, this gap here. So let's go ahead and turn this backwards the other way. And you'll see it starts lining up there. Now we get the full range of motion here, the full half inch but our printer's level, so if we need to make those fine adjustments, that's where it comes in. Let's go ahead and get this guy mounted onto something here. Great. So we're all familiar with these. Go ahead and tighten down our mounting kit there. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and use the clamp that came attached to it. And we're just going to put this right back into place. Don't tighten this all the way down because then you'll just end up loosening it um, in order to get it on. Great. So now you'll see our screws are started and they're not all the way tight. So this gives us a little motion here, which we need. So we'll go ahead and slide this over our bar here. 
And with the way this uh, clamps down, you're going to want to do them all just kind of hand tight at first before you tighten any one down all the way. And then once you get them all just kind of tight and in place, we'll go ahead and tighten them down all the way. Just go ahead and give it about half a turn or a full turn on each screw. And now our printer is good and tight, secure in its spot. You see we have no movement from one side to the other. And we can go ahead and we can adjust our printer however we want with our thumb screw here.